we're going to look at installing LED side lights or city or parking lights in this uh, Mark VI Golf, um, which is a version with halogen headlights. Now, if you're in North America, I'm aware that your car will look a little bit different to this one, as um, American cars have amber side markers, whereas everywhere else we use uh, white front-facing side lights instead. Um, so with an American Golf, you may not have a separate switch position for these lights, and they might not even be wired up. Uh, but assuming that they are, what I'm talking about are these little 5 watt auxiliary bulbs that are found in on the Golf in the uh, main high beam headlight reflector. Now there are two stages to this job, um, installing the LEDs and then coding out the resulting bulb out error that you'll probably get. As to the LEDs that I'm using, I've chosen these uh, Philips Extreme Vision, uh, which I will review separately. Uh, basically, they generate a mostly forward firing light uh, through this diffuser, uh, which makes it suitable for the exposed position uh, in the Golf headlight. Uh, and these bulbs generate a 4000K neutral or pure white color, so not too blue, uh, not too yellow and they look pretty innocuous when they're switched off. Now physically replacing the T10 or 501 bulbs is not too difficult, uh, but it could be tricky if you haven't done it before, so I will go over the process. Uh, you need to pull off the rubber cap at the back of the high beam bulb chamber, uh, but of course you're not touching the main bulb itself. Uh, so the side light bulb is held with this uh, plastic friction fit thing, and it has a tab at the back, at the back end, which you um, need to grab, and you just pull it out. Now space is at a premium, and unless you have tiny hands, you may struggle, uh, especially if it's well stuck in there. So I had to resort to pliers, um, as you can see, and I was able to sort of feel, because you can't see, you can feel the nose of the plier onto the tab, and um, then you, you know, clamp the pliers, and with a little twist and a pull, it'll come out. Now when it comes out, the wiring remains in place because you haven't unplugged anything, uh, so be careful not to damage that. Uh, and you need to then flip the holder sort of 180 degrees so that you can get access to the bulb. Then of course you just pull out the bulb and stick in the LED. So there's my Philips bulb in place. And at this point you need to test it uh, because these T10 LEDs typically are polarity sensitive. So if it doesn't work the one way, you'll need to put it in the other way around. And voila, bright light. So now it can go in with its holder, uh, just reversing what you did before, of course, except you won't need pliers this time. It just pushes home with, as I said before, a friction fit. Now there's no clip or anything to action. You give it a final test once it's home, make sure it's working, hasn't come loose, and then you can replace the rubber cap on the back of the headlight unit and then that one's done. Now this shot is during the daytime, so it's not the best comparison, but you can see that the LED here is nicely brighter, and the uh, white color of the Philips is greatly preferable to the old incandescent 5 watt. Now the left-hand side bulb has even less room to access it, unfortunately, uh, but it is doable, and otherwise the process is identical to the right-hand side. And after that, you are done with the physical work. Next up, you will probably find that during your testing of the bulbs, um, or you might need to cycle the ignition first, you'll find that the car has set a bulb out error on the dash. And this is because the LEDs are way lower powered than the incandescents, and the car just doesn't see them, so it thinks that they are blown. So you need a uh, Volkswagen compatible scan tool, um, and we need to do a little coding in order to fix this. So here I'm using OBD11, uh, but of course you could use the traditional VACOM and VCDS setup. Um, so just to check the uh, module errors, uh, you can see here the bulb out error, open circuit slash short circuit to B plus. So okay, that's what we expect. And there's no point in clearing that just now as it'll just come back immediately. So what we need to do is set one bit in long coding. Uh, specifically, we're going to set bit 2 of byte 27. And this is what that looks like in VCDS. 
Um, you can see the label in blue describes this bit as um, LED daytime running light and parking slash position light. OBD11 is less helpful and you need to know which bit to set uh, without the labels. Um, but it doesn't matter which solution you're using, you just need to set bit 2 of byte 27. So once you've done that, go ahead and apply the change either way and it should work fine. Once coded, you can go back to the error code and clear it and the bulb out icon should disappear simultaneously from the dash and not come back on. Now you can cycle the ignition once and just uh, check that it doesn't, but it should be good from this point forward. And you have LED side lights. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Have fun.